Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to calculate roof area for a rectangular roof with a pitch. So the house is rectangular, the length is 34 feet, the width is 23. And so in this side view of the house, we can write the width is 23, the tip of the roof is 6 feet above the ceiling. So this height right there from the ceiling up is 6 feet. The roof extends beyond the house by two feet. So this little distance here is about two feet. So let's, let's find the area of the roof. Let's find the length of the hypotenuse of that triangle. We know that the length here would be half of 23. So let's take our 23 divided by 2. So that equals 11.5. Let's add on our two feet on the end. So this length here will be 13.5, 13 and a half feet. So our right triangle is 13.5 by 6. So to find this length, we know that 6 squared plus 13.5 squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. 6 squared is 36. 13.5 squared is 182.25. So 218.25. If I add the 36 and the 182, that equals x squared. And then x equals the square root of 218. So that turns out to be 14.7, well, 14.8 feet. And so that's one direction, but I also have that slope there also. So we have two of those. So 14.8 times 2, 29.6 feet. And then, then we can multiply. That's pretty much the width of the surface that we're co covering. And then the length of the surface that we're covering is the length of the house, plus 2 on each side, so plus 4. So it's 34 feet plus 4 be 38 feet. So we have a dimension that's 29.6 times 38. Find out how many square feet we need to cover. 1,124 feet, 0. 0.8. So 1,125 feet would be great for trying to figure out how much. I mean, you probably round up a little bit for buying shingles. Let's do another example. So we know this distance is 32. Oh, sorry, this one's 25. So here would be 12 point. Or, so we have the two feet out here, half of 25. is 12.5. So this right here will be 14.5. The height is 7. So 7 squared plus 14.5 squared equals x squared. So 49 plus 210.25. So that would be 259.25 sorry not 459 259.25 that equals x squared 
So x is the square root of that. So 16.1 feet along here and then down there also. So we'll double that. So 16.1 times 2 gives me 32.2 feet. And then the length of the house is 32, but we have two feet overlap on each side. So 36. To find the square feet. Close to 1,159 feet. We would probably round up maybe get 1,200 square feet of shingles just so we well, you might make a mistake here and there there's gonna be some this lost in little pieces so you need to get extra